Welcome to Taffy Blue View, your source for all things Everton. I'm Jerry. Tom and Max are here. Uh, and I am coming to you from a, a new set. Hey! I didn't mention it in the first video because I was too busy hearing about Tom and Max and how they are. So yeah. But yeah, uh, I brought in a team of about 12 decorators that helped me arrange this. Oh. No, it was me. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, baby. Um, so... <laughs> Let's discuss uh, the new right back situation because Seamus Coleman has a stress fracture in his foot, <sighs> supposedly, according to Martin O'Neill. So if he's truthful, uh, yeah, that's a thing. And that means John Joe Kinney is in. Um, now, so let's start with Max this time. Max, how comfortable are you with John Joe Kinney starting at right back for us right now? I'm very comfortable. Um, I just want to say to Seamus, Chris recovery, mate, because it's, it's gotten to see him go through these kinds of getting back and then on the shelf again, getting back on the shelf again. But you know, yeah. best of luck in your recovery. But uh, on Kenny, I, I'm more than com I'm more than comfortable with seeing him come in. I'm glad Everton have got you know young, talented fullback. You know, he, he's a winner as well. He won the the under twenties World Cup with England, and he he was part of that team and the under twenty threes Everton team that won the league a few years back. So for those who are Un unsure about Kenny, you know, I, I'm I'm not I'm not on board with that. I, I'm more than comfortable, and I'm glad we've got someone of that talent. Obviously, making the transition from youth football to the Premier League, you're gonna come up with a different calibre of opponent, both physically and technically. And I think he learned the hard way when he came in last season for Coleman. You know, he was pretty much put in at the deep end and had to learn on the job. So I'm sure this season, you know, obviously by according to the with it being a stress fracture, it'll be a few weeks. So. He'll have more than enough time to, to showcase his abilities, and I'm sure he'll be more mature. Tom, how are you feeling about, about John Joe Kenny coming in? Yeah, it, um, I completely agree with Max. Yeah, John Joe Kenny's completely capable. Um, I just hope fans don't get on his back as much as they have with Tom Davis recently, because I think he needs to be got a bit of slack. And I know a lot of people have um, given this and that to Tom Davis, but I think John Joe Kenny obviously is he's, uh, he's adapting, and he needs time to do that especially when he comes in like properly like this. I think he will be better than when he came in last time um, in a di at a difficult time last season. So I'm looking for t forward to see what it'll be like in a uh, Marco Silva system as opposed to Sam Allardyce's or uh, anything like that, former managers. But I'm, I hope, I'm hoping it'll, uh, it'll come good in this one because he, he, he was quite good against Rotherham. I was impressed with him against Rotherham. Yeah. Um, I know it's a completely different calibre of opponent in the Premier League, but I think he'll do well. Uh, the only concern for me is his cover. So uh, he, he's gonna he's gonna be in the sidelines for him, uh, but I think he's more than capable to step in, and uh, I'm excited to see how he does. Um, I agree with you guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna be fine with Kenny kind of deputizing for Coleman, uh, as long as it's not a really long, like long term takeover for him. Um, that's what happened last season, and he wasn't quite ready. Um, so I think, and I think it maybe was, it's good for kids to be pushed. They need challenges and he's going to learn from that. And I do think he's going to be even stronger this year. Totally agree with that. I just hesitate to say, to think that if for some reason Coleman is struggling really bad with this injury, if it goes longer than expected, um, I, I will worry about John Joe Kenny playing the rest of the season as a starter. I'm just going to, based on last season, um, just because. Yeah. But do I think he's capable and all the qualities that you guys mentioned? Yes, he's awesome. He's one of the kids I was most excited about coming through that U23 setup. Um, I love the kid. I think he's awesome. Um, so uh, if he struggles, if he does, okay, um, in what areas do you think he will struggle? I guess that's the thing that I was thinking about where his – his kind of areas he needs to work on as a player are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So where can we, where do we feel like we can anticipate some, uh, any kind of possible weakness? Who wants to start with that? Well, I, I think, I, 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 and I think it's another reason why I like John Joe Kenny so much is that he's not the, the, he's not this kind of modern day traditional flying wing back. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't take the ball and go on these incredible mazy dribbles down the wing. He, he's a very kind of, Similar to Lucas Dina, yeah? he's you know tidy with the ball, hits it hits with a big tackle every now and again, and he's strongly reliable. But I think, as we kind of touched on earlier, coming up against wingers who are more developed physically, 
you know, and I'm thinking the likes of Eden Hazard and those type of players that you come up, come up against in this league, the, the the more quick, quicker with the feet, move the ball a lot quicker, and uh, there'll be a lot. There'll be testing for a young player like him. You know, when to jump in, when to try and lunge in and win the win the ball. But I, I, I'm I'm as I said, I'm comfortable with Kenny. I know he he has got his flaws in his game, but you can accept that with him being young and. I'm used to Everton having these kinds of ready supply of young, talented players, and I think he's just the the, the next example of that to have to break into the team. Tom, where do you see uh, Kenny's areas of weakness in terms of you know things he might struggle on coming up this weekend or this season? Uh, yeah, sometimes I've seen him when he's been jockeying and he's kind of been a bit hesitant when to put a foot in and things like that. I think um, some wingers that you see in the Premier League are completely different to what you see in under twenty three. So sometimes when I watched them, I just sometimes thought that he's when he's been jockeying, he could have put a foot in it um, a bit earlier, things like that. He's a bit hesitant putting a foot in sometimes because maybe he's uh, at this level. Wingers are completely different to other the under twenty three. You've got com- like full, fully grown athletes at, at this level, and he's he doesn't want to jump in because there's a lot of pressure. And if he does jump in at the wrong time, he's going to get jumped on and criticised. So I think uh, sometimes he is a bit hesitant to put a foot in. But uh, that'll come with time. That'll come with experience. I'm glad he had that run of the team last season, so we can. Uh, he's experienced this level, so he's not going to c- come in completely blind. He knows what he's doing, and um, I suppose that's where I've seen him weak though. Sometimes I think he, his deliveries could be improved as well. Maybe that'll come with time as well. But uh, crosses into the box. Hopefully, we'll be able to see them because that's where Sheamus has lacked a little bit. Hopefully, Kenny can come in and uh, give some decent delivery because sometimes. Uh, I've seen him, he could have done better as well, but hopefully that's going to come with time and experience. He, he will need a few games to get into his stride, though, in this team. So we won't we won't see the best of him against West Ham, I'm sure. But I think if he got a good run of games and got some decent form going, there's no reason why he couldn't fly. And you never know, could end up as good as strength. <laughs> hmm. uh, so when I was thinking about him last season, uh, I know there was, <clears throat> yeah, I seem to remember several times where he got kind of uh, bumped off the ball for headers, you know, balls in the air. Um, And uh, there was a couple of moments where his, I don't know if it was his communication with the other defenders or what, but it's like there was, they would leave a man open just kind of behind them. That, and I feel like both of those two, in, in adding to what both of you guys were talking about, knowing when to put a foot in, a lot of that is youth and inexperience. The more you play against somebody like Hazard, you will know, you know, you'll, you'll have been there and done that. Yeah, you you kind of get over that, you, you get past those naive moments where you go, you're, you're bracing yourself for a header, but you're not bracing yourself for that contact. You know, um, moments like, and your communication just gets better with the other defenders because you play with them more. So do I expect to see moments like this? Yes, I do. Um, and it may, heck, it, they, they may score some goals on us because of that. Um, but uh, personally, I just, I would, I would rather be playing him right now than Cuco Martina. Of course. Despite the fact definitely. that Cuco Martina was a decent defensive player. You know, he was decent defensively. He was. He wasn't the worst. I know we have these poop-colored glasses when we look back on last season where everything was shit. I know. I get it. But he did defend well several times. When he was on the right. Well, he didn't defend poorly on the left either. It's just he had no offensive push forward. Anyway. that's When he was on the bench. <laughs> he was awesome on the bench. No one sat like Kuko. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, I almost want to watch Stoke just to see how he's doing. You know, I miss Kuko, but not for playing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so, and we were talking off off camera about who might be Kenny's backup because he's a young guy. The young guys, when they come in, they get hurt sometimes. Who would be his backup? The only one that I've seen play last season was uh, Marco Lowe, uh the Dutch uh, player, I think he's a, he's a right back. At least he played right back last season in a lot of U23 games. And he looked, there were times where he looked like one of the strongest players on the field. Can I just throw something at you, right? Tom Davies' debut 
I, I'm I'm convinced that it was Southampton at home when when um, Unsworth and Royal took charge. Mm-hmm. Did he play right back that game? Because one of my mates, me Evertonian, mate, said to me the other day that Dave, um, Davies made his debut at right back, mm-hmm. and it rang a bell. But I'm not entirely sure what game it was. But I think we could give it a run. He has definitely played you know? right back before. I remember that he yeah. has, uh, but it's, so, it was definitely so not I, a regular thing, though. I just no, I, I don't no, remember I, it was. I think if we're looking at positional versatility, I think that's something that we could make the most of. If mm. you know, we know people are getting on Davies's back. Give him a whirl in a different position, see what kind of flourishes. Uh, I get nervous about doing that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think if yeah. you're in a pinch and we don't have any on the be- anybody on the bench to do it, yeah. I wonder, and I'm just throwing this out there. Would they throw if we've got Baines on the bench? Would they throw Baines in on the left and Dina in on the right as a possibility? Just even though he's not right-footed, that might be a thing that they do. That Silva decides to do. uh, I think we saw enough of that last season. I know. know I I know. Oh, oh, Holgate as well. Holgate can play right back as well. Oh yeah, yeah. But that 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 sort of. I, I'm not a fan of it. It, it was similar, remember, with Brendan Galloway when people tried to make out Brendan Galloway was a left back. Uh, and similar to Stones before yep. that, people trying to say, you know, oh, he can do a job at right back. Well, he can't do a job, but just, just look at them type of players physically. With ectomorphs, they're mm-hmm. just a body type. I don't. I, I, I just really don't think it's suitable to, to a full back position in this day and age. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm a big fan of playing people where in their best position. Yeah, I do agree. But if we're looking at having our best players on the bench and we're just slotting in good players right now because we're so depleted, you know what I mean? That yeah. Something like that could happen. So I, I, I am hoping that we will see some of those young guys on our, on our bench, though, and possibly get a minute or two. Some of those guys who normally would never be anywhere near our bench right now, you know? So anyway, yeah. we might see that. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll go into more, that more later when we talk about this weekend's match. we got two segments on that coming, one on West Ham preview and one on the starting 11. Teasing. There's your – yeah, there you go. Stay tuned. Check those mm. out. But for <clears> now, <throat> anything else on John Joe Kinney? Nope. Come on, John Joe, lad. Yeah. Good luck. All the best. When I heard about Coleman's injury – Immediately, I said to myself, I'm glad he's here. I'm glad we've got Kenny because I, I do think he can do a job. Yeah, definitely. You know, as, 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 you, know you, you want them play. You want your local lads as your backup. And I think he's, he, you know, I think he's technically efficient enough to, to, to do a good job. All right. So uh, that's it for our John Joe Kenny segment. Uh, if you are liking the videos, please subscribe. We're, you know, 1140 something. Yeah slowly slowly crawling up so thanks for that uh you know subscribe like comment all that hot stuff if you haven't or if you have uh yeah uh, check out these guys they're they're in lots of places right so if you want to actually see what's going on with them check their twitter they got their their twitter handles right there they will giving be giving updates where you can find them tom does some pop some other podcasts and and all that kind of stuff so check that out all right. Um, yeah, and I think that's it for now, guys. Uh, let's let's move on to do this West West Ham preview. So, yeah. bye. <laughs>